So the first one, y equals t to the power x plus 1. So we know this is going to be, the asymptote is going to be 1. So if this is x, this is y, this is the origin. So previously asymptote passes through y equals to 0. Now it is going to be y equals to 1. So this is the asymptote, y equals to 1. And e to the power x is going to be raised by 1 unit. So it is going to be 2. The next one, y equals to 4, e to the power minus x. This one is going to be, uh, first of all, this 2, the coefficient in front of uh, x, this really does not matter. But what it matters is e to the power minus x. So remember, the sketch is e to the power minus x. It means it's going to be reflection on the y-axis. So e to the power minus x looks like this. We cannot uh, uh, sketch e to the power minus 2x because it's difficult to show that on a sketch. So we just write e to the power minus x is this. And then uh, previously it would have passed through 1. But when we have a coefficient in front of e to the power x, it passes through that number. So this is going to be 4. Always remember to give the y-axis, the x-axis and the origin. Now the next this is one of the most important uh, format of the sketching of the exponential function. Uh, it looks like it has y equals to a constant e to the power x plus another constant. Now the second constant represents the asymptote. And the first constant is obviously the point through which it passes. So let me show this step by step how this works. Step 1 is you have y equals to e to the power x and that looks like this. I did not uh, uh, show the y-axis, uh, the x-axis, because I wanted to show the asymptote. So it passes through 1. Now when you have a number added, it, it looks like this. y equals to, first of all, let me show you the coefficient. So y equals to 10 e to the power x. So when you have y equals to 10 e to the power x, the picture looks exactly the same. But now instead of passing through 1, it's going to pass through the point 10. Now, from we're going step by step. From here, we get this. From here, we get the next one. So when you have y equals to 10, e to the power x plus 10. Remember, now the asymptote is going to be raised by 10. So it means previously it was 0. Now this is the asymptote. 10 is the asymptote. So y equals to 10, that is the asymptote. And the picture above this, it's going to be raised by 10. So previously it used to be 10, now it is going to be 20. So the fair and final sketch is going to be. So first of all, we have the asymptote plus 10. So this is going to be 10. So this is y equals to 10. And then we have this sketch which passes through this point, and this is going to be 10 plus 10. 20. The next one is similar, but here it is minus 3. So the asymptote is going to be minus 3. So it means when we sketch this, now we can sketch this directly. So it is going to be here. This is minus 3. It has been uh, lowered. The asymptote has been lowered. So y equals to minus 3. And uh, so it's going to pass through 2. Previously, if x equals to 0, so it, it would have passed through 2, but this is now uh, minus 3, so 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So here, this is going to be minus 1. Now, the difference between the previous uh, sketch and this sketch is that the previous sketch did not cut the x-axis. This sketch is cutting the x-axis, so we can also figure out where did it cut the x-axis. So we can say at y equals to 0, twice e to the power x minus 3 equals to 0. Therefore, e to the power x equals to 3 by 2. Therefore, x equals to ln 3 by 2. So it cuts the x-axis at the point ln 3 by 2. If you have a sketch uh, that might look a bit different, y equals to 4 minus e to the power x. You have to remember that this is y equals to minus e to the power x plus 4. That means if we do this step by step it would look like let's start with y equals to e to the power x. So y equals to e to the power x looks like this. Passes through 1. Now we have y equals to minus e to the power x. If you have y equals to minus e to the power x it means it's a reflection on the x-axis. So it is going to be like this. So from this picture we can get this picture. Now we have 
plus 4. That means this is the asymptote. So the sketch now is going to be, let me draw the x-axis now. So it is going to be 4. 4 is the asymptote now. So y equals to 4 is the asymptote. And the sketch is now going to be, so previously it was minus 1. So it, it has been raised by 4 units. So this would be 3. So this would be 3. And we also have to find where does it cut the x-axis. So let me sketch this. So fairly. So this is the y-axis. This is the x-axis. So this is uh, y equals to 4. So this is y equals to 4. And the shape uh, minus e to the power x is below that. So this is the shape. So this is going to be 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. And we have to find out where does it cut the x-axis because this particular picture is cutting the x-axis. So at y equals to 0, 4 minus e to the power x equals to 0. Therefore, e to the power x equals to 4. Therefore, x equals to ln 4. That means this is ln 4. 